Thank you, Enrico. Good morning and welcome to everyone for the B2B workshop, Italy, Japan Space Cooperation for Emerging Global uh, Challenges, promoted by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Italy uh, and the Italian Trade Agency and uh, uh, co-organized by the Italian Embassy here in, uh, in Japan. Allow me to greet uh, and thank the Under Secretary of Foreign Affairs, Honorable Manlio Di Stefano, that uh, will uh, intervene, will address uh, uh, this uh, seminar uh, in uh, a few minutes. Good morning, everyone. I'm very, very glad to be here today in this webinar uh, dedicated to the Italy-Japan Space Cooperation with a special focus on industrial partnership. And I would like to thank all today's guests for that. Uh, it is an honor to have here with us representatives of the Japanese institutions and space agency, as well as exponents of research centers and leading companies from both Italy and Japan. With Japan, we have a close and comprehensive partnership grounded in common interests and shared values of freedom, respect for human rights, democracy, and rule of law. They are the basis for our common stake in the prosperity, stability, security, and openness of the Indo-Pacific region, where we wish to size the magnitude of opportunities arising from economic cooperation and the development of a connectivity between Europe and Asia. We will also continue to work together through the United Nations G7, G20, WTO, ASEM, and other fora to respond to global challenges such as the fight against COVID-19 pandemic, climate change, and the post-COVID economic recovery. Italy is determined to far strengthen its bilateral economic relationship with Japan and extend the cooperation between the two business communities, also taking advantages of the opportunities of the economic partnership agreement between the EU and Japan. This virtual meeting aims at promoting cooperation for emerging global challenges in highly innovative and technological sectors such as space and aerospace. We believe our future depends on these technologies and our present can benefit from them. Mastering these technologies we will, uh, will be essential to fulfill the Sustainable Development Goals set in 2015 by the United Nations 2030 Agenda, and our ambitious targets are current President of the G20 um, and Co-Chair of the COP26. The 2030 uh, Agenda is a plan of action for people, the planet, and its prosperity, for a world in which development and the application of technology are climate sensitive, respect biodiversity and are resilient. Earth observation and geo information, management and prevention of natural disasters, applications for space debris and traffic management, innovative solutions for green space exploitation are just some examples on how technology can be a great value for the sustainable development of our planet. Italy is the second biggest manufacturing power in Europe. Our companies own cutting-edge technologies and expertise in many sectors where they are undisputed global leaders. The Italian aerospace industry is deeply integrated, integrated and it is composed by a number of companies operating along the whole value chain of the space economy. Beside the most well-known corporations, we have a certain number of small and medium enterprises that have developed extraordinary capabilities and technological solutions and that participate in programs of international importance, such as the Artemis mission. Italy is indeed a party in the Artemis Accords and plays an active role in the main European space programs, such as Galileo and Copernicus. I can affirm without hesitation that Italy, with its complete supply chain of products and services, is at the forefront of global competition. In the Italian architecture, a strategic role is played by our three trade associations. The Federation of Italian Companies for Aerospace, Defense and Security, the Association of Companies for Space Activities, and the Association for Services, Applications and ICT Technologies for Space. They include all the companies belonging to the sector, 
la little and medium enterprises and the most innovative startups that have just entered the market. In Italy, the space sector is managed by Interministerial Committee for Policies Related to Space and Aerospace, the comment, entitled to define national guidelines on space and aerospace research, technological innovation and production. Moreover, the Italian government supports our national enterprises in taking new opportunities with high-profile counterparts, also thanks to the new financial tools provided by the so-called Export Pact a comprehensive program to strengthen the presence of our enterprises abroad. In this framework, Italy wishes to continue and strengthen its collaboration with Japan also through ASI, the Italian Space Agency, which has recently signed an MOU with the Japanese Space Agency. The document aims at establishing a framework for the cooperation in the field of exploration and use of outer space for peaceful purposes, as well as the conditions for carrying out projects of common interest. The two agencies will implement mutual projects in space, science and exploration, Earth observation, space transportation, international space station, education and training projects. We know that the space sector has experienced the relevant growth even in the pandemic context. As I said, the applications of space technologies are today the most varied and they can concretely help us preserve our planet and build a prosperous future for the next generations. We are proud to showcase and share today some of these innovative and sustainable solutions, making a, another step towards a stronger collaboration with Japan one of the major space powers that owns an excellent level of technology and as a, as a strong industry in the strategic sector with interesting points of complementarity with the Italian system. I hope that this initiative will help highlighting our entrepreneurial qualities and highest technological capabilities at the service of humanity and our planet. In conclusion, I am confident that today's meeting will pave the way for closer cooperation between Italy and Japan. Thank you all for your attention and I wish you good work.